Hey math students, I hope you're having a good day. Let's learn about arithmetic sequences. And that's how you pronounce this word, this word right here, arithmetic sequence. And sometimes it's pronounced arithmetic sequence. But let's just generate one so, so you see exactly what it means. So let's just pick some random number to start with. How about two? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some number to that 2. How about 4? What's 2 plus 4? Well, 2 plus 4 is 6. Now I'll add 4 to the 6. What's 6 plus 4? That's 10. And I'll add 4 to the 10. What's 10 plus 4? That's 14. And I can continue this process. That's what an arithmetic sequence is. You start with some number and then you add a constant each time. That's really all there is to it. Now there's a special name for um, the number that we added each time. It's called a common difference. So in other words, if you were taking a test and your teacher gave you this sequence right here and the teacher said, what's the common difference? It would be 4, because that's what you're adding each time to get to the next term. Now, there's another way to get to that 4. If the sequence is given, let's say you didn't generate it, but it was given, you could start with maybe the last term of the sequence and subtract the term right before it. Watch this. What's 14 minus 10? That's 4. What's 10 minus 6? That's 4. What's 6 minus 2? That's 4 and so on. So keep in mind that the common difference for this sequence is 4. Now there's some notation I want to go over really quickly. Um, I'm going to add some numbers here. These here are called the term values and I'm going to write some numbers up here in yellow. 1, 2, 3, and 4. These are called the term numbers. So for example, term number 2 has a value of 6. Term number 4 has a value of 14. Term 1 has a value of 2. And the way you would write that is like this. T1 or T of 1. This means term 1. So what is the value of term 1? That's what this means. It is 2. What about term 4? Let's say you're taking a test and you see this. What would the value of term 4 be? Be 14. What if... What about this? What about the value of term 6? What would that be? Well, we don't have term 6, so we'd have to generate it out to term 6, right? So that would be, let's see, we just keep adding 4. 14 plus 4 is 18. 18 plus 4 is 22. So the value of term 6 would be 22. Let me keep this color coordinated here. Now, real quick, sometimes... People call the first term that they see this term right here. Sometimes they call this term zero. I always call the first term that I see term one. So since the first number in the sequence is two, I call that term one, not term zero. So keep that in mind. It can be done differently, but for my videos, all the first terms will be called term one. And that leaves us to a, th this following question. What would term zero be? This is an important one. This is basically the term right before term 1. What do you think that would be? Term 0. Right here. Well, hopefully you're thinking minus 2. I'm putting that in a different color because this is an important term we're going to need to find right here is term 0. So it's minus 2. And the way I got that is I just, want to go back in the sequence, I just subtract 4. Remember when I go forward, I add 4 each time. But if I want to go back, I'll subtract 4. So what's 2 minus 4? That's negative 2. So that's how I got term 0. Another way to check it is if you start with term 0, you, when you add 4 to it, you should get the term to the right of it. So what's negative 2 plus 4? That's 2, so that's another way to check it. So keep in mind that term 0 here is negative 2 because we're going to use that to write an explicit equation. So let's say, for example, I wanted 
term 100 all the way out here. Now I can continue to add four each time until I get to term 100, but I don't want to do that. I want to do it in a quicker way. So you can use what's called an explicit formula and it looks like this explicit formula. And if you're taking notes, you might want to jot this down, but it, it kind of goes like this T of N. Now don't let this notation scare you. This just means any term in the sequence term n, that's how you read it, is equal to the common difference, let's remember that was 4, times the term number, I'm going to call that n, that represents any term number, it could be term 1, term 2, whatever, plus term 0. write that a little better plus I'll get it on one line here term zero so in other words this is how you write the explicit that's a star that's kind of messy but that's how you write the explicit formula let me show you what I mean so in other words to find any the value of any term in the sequence you take the common difference do you remember what the common difference was it was 4. So I'm going to replace the comma difference with 4 times n, I'll just bring my n down, plus term 0. And term 0 is negative 2. So this is the equation. I'm going to clean that up a little bit. It's going to look like this. T of n, the value of any term in the sequence, equals 4n minus 2. This is important to be able to write this. So I just, th these are basically the same, these two. I just clean this up because when you add minus, when you add negative, it's the same as subtraction. So let's keep this in mind, that T of N equals 4N minus 2, and we're going to use that to find term 100. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. So let me clear this out, clean everything up. I'll rewrite this explicit formula up here. So again, that explicit formula was T of N. That stands for the value of any term in the sequence equals the common difference, which was 4 times n minus 2, because that was my term 0, minus 2. So to find term 100, all I got to do is replace the n here, each one of these n's right here and here with 100. So let's do that. So t of 100, right, or I should say term 100 is what I should say, equals 4 times, well, n is 100, so I'll put in 100 for n, minus 2. And this will give us term 100. So term 100 will be 4 times 100, which is 400, minus 2 is 398. And that is term 100. So keep that in mind, how to write the explicit formula, because I don't want to keep adding 4 each time to get to this term. It takes too long. Let's look at just a, another quick example where we have a decreasing sequence. Let's say I had a sequence like this. I want it to be decreased, and I'll randomly pick some starting number. I'll call this term 1, 12. And I'm going to go down instead of up. So how about if we go down by 7? So if I have 12 and I go down by 7, what would the next term be? That would be 5. Now if I have 5 and I go down by 7, I'll be at negative 2. I'm really subtracting 7 each time I'm going down by 7. If I have minus 2 and I go down by 7, I'd be at minus 9 and so on. So this is a decreasing sequence. And what would the common difference be here? What would the common difference be here? Well, let's think about this. It's going down by 7. I'm really subtracting 7, so that would be the common difference, minus 7. Now, let's say I wanted to find term 100 here. Well, I would have to use that explicit formula that I showed you on the last problem. And remember, to do that, 
the first thing you want to do is you need your common difference and you're going to need term zero. So what would term zero be here? Remember, this is term one, term two, term three, term four. What would term zero be? Well, if I'm, the sequence is going down by seven, if I want to go in the other direction, I go up by seven. So 12 plus seven is 19. So term zero is 19. That's an important term. And you can double check that, right? 19 going down by seven is 12. 12 going down by seven is five. So it checks. Let's write the explicit formula. That's T of N. Remember, that means the value of any term in the sequence equals the common difference, which was minus 7, times n, plus term 0, which is right here, plus 19. And now I can quickly find uh, the value of term 100. I'll just replace these n's with 100. So term 100 will equal negative 7, replace this n with this 100 plus 19. And that's going to give us, well, what's negative 7 times 100? That's negative 700 plus 19 is going to give us negative 681. When I evaluate this, I get negative 681. And that is term 100 right here be negative 681. So you want to make sure you can write this explicit formula here to quickly evaluate terms that are way down in the sequence. Well, I really hope this was helpful. Have a great day.